to Forza Horizon 5. This is the FH5 Update 20, the high performance update. We have four brand new cars, a racetrack out at the stadium. We have some super interesting bug fixes coming to the game. And we also have a small preview of what's coming next month and this is gonna blow your mind. Let's jump into it. And as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below because every time a new car comes to Forza Horizon 5, I'm gonna unlock it, customize it, and see if it's any good. And this month, we're gonna be trying them out at that racetrack. I'm super excited. Make sure you're subscribed if you wanna see that stuff. Let's jump in to these four brand new cars. Let's start it off with this thing, the 2020 Lamborghini Huracan STO that you can unlock in the summer season by getting 20 points. We spotted it in the promo image and yes, it is officially coming to Forza Horizon 5. The Huracan STO is the fastest Huracan Lamborghini has made just yet. I wouldn't be surprised if Lamborghini goes and makes a faster one in a couple of months because that's just what they do. This one though has 630 horsepower, 420 foot-pounds of torque. It can do zero to 60 in like three seconds and has a top speed of over 200 miles an hour. And what's crazy is those stats aren't even the craziest part about this thing. This is essentially a race car that you can actually drive on the road. 75% of the body is made of carbon fiber. It's got this crazy like shark fin rear wing thing that produces a ton of downforce. And it is so loud, this car in real life. A stock one was actually thrown off the Nürburgring because it was too loud. If you've ever seen the Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo, it's the race car version. The STO is sorta kinda the road version of that. It's coming to the game next week and I cannot wait to drive it and customize it. Like I said, subscribe if you want to see that. Anyways, let's move it on to car number two, and that is this, the 2019 Porsche number 70 935. You can unlock this thing in the autumn by getting 20 points in the festival playlist. Now, I know what you're saying, Nick, wasn't that car shown off in the Forza Motorsport trailer? And yes, yes, it was. And you also might be saying, Nick, isn't that a dedicated track car? Y yes. Yeah, yes, it is. Honestly, I have no idea why we're getting this car in Forza Horizon 5. It was supposed to be one of the all-new cars coming to the new Forza Motorsport game that's set to come out later this year, but apparently it's coming to Forza Horizon 5 instead beforehand. So, I mean, it's cool. I'm not complaining, but it's just, just kind of weird. Not only that, but it's a super, super rare car. There are only 77 of these things made for the entire world. I don't even want to imagine how much one of these things costs in real life. It would be an insane price, and it's also got some insane specs. It's got 700 horsepower from a straight six twin turbo. This thing is an awesome car, and I cannot wait to try it as well. Car number three, though, is this, the 2021 Audi RS6 that you can unlock in the winter season by getting 20 points in the festival playlist. And yes, 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 it is here. I often get the question, what is my favorite car? And the answer is this thing. Okay, it's this thing and the Lamborghini LP670, but we can have two favorite cars, okay? The Audi RS6 is a monster though. The newest version is an absolute rocket. It's got a V8 twin turbo that puts out 600 horsepower. It is a beautiful looking estate car. And I am so happy that this thing is coming to Forza Horizon 5. I do wonder though, if the Audi RS6 will follow the trend from the Audi RS3 and the Audi RS7, we got from a couple months ago that included ABT parts. We will have to see, not sure just yet. We'll find out in a couple of weeks. Moving on to our fourth and final new car. This is the Porsche Mission R. Yes, it is also coming to Forza Horizon 5, another dedicated race car. You can unlock this thing in the spring by getting 20 points in the festival playlist. If you've never seen the Mission R before, essentially it is a race car version of the Porsche Taycan. It is a 1,000 horsepower all electric race car. It does zero to 60 in like two and a half seconds. It has a top speed of 190 miles an hour and and for a race car that produces this much downforce, 
That is absolutely insane. You might actually remember the Mission R from a couple of months ago when I actually made a video on it in iRacing. It's a super, super fun car. I can't wait to try it. I don't know if it's just me, but this might very well be one of the best months we've had for new cars maybe ever in Forza Horizon 5. We have three of the latest track cars that are just making waves. And we also have one of my personal favorite road cars. I couldn't ask for any more. Let me know what you think about these four new cars. Anyways, let's move it on to this thing. You've already seen a bunch of the Horizon Stadium circuit. But let's jump into this thing properly. So yes, in case you're living under a rock, the stadium in Forza Horizon 5 is getting a makeover and you're gonna be able to drive around this stadium racetrack for the entire month and forever. What is super cool about this racetrack is because the developers spent so much time working on it, they are actually making it a permanent addition in races. So you'll actually be able to go into the stadium and start up this race anytime you want to explore this map again. And what's even cooler is that race start location can actually be used to make your own event lab races from now on. Again, super, super cool. So if you've ever wanted to make an event lab map at the stadium, you can do that now properly. Anyways, on the topic of the stadium, there's also a ton of new accolades that you can unlock if you're a fan of unlocking those. Here are some of them. And again, if you're a fan of unlocking some special things, you know the badges next to your name? Well, there are three new badges coming to the game dependent on how many unique cars you actually own. There's a ghost one for 500 unique cars, a blue heart for 600 cars, and a T-Rex for 700 cars. That T-Rex one is going to be super, super rare. You're going to need basically every car in the game unlocked and in your garage. So long story short, if you want to flex on people, run that T-Rex badge. It's going to be super rare. Two more little things, though. If you're driving around in the open world, there's a new collectible. It's a pinata helmet. I don't know what that means, but... There you go. And there's also six returning PR stunts, four speed traps, and two speed zones for you to mess around with and try to set some new scores on with your fancy race car. Anyways, let's talk about these other things that absolutely blew my mind. We'll start it off with the bug fixes. Number one, you know when you were setting up a custom controller layout before in the game and how you always had to have Anna and Forza Link mapped to your controller or the game wouldn't let you save it? Well, that is no longer a thing. You no longer need them, and you can finally make your own custom controls however you want. Now, number two, before we get into this, I haven't tried this out for myself just yet. I'm just telling you what I've been told. Don't shoot the mess. Event labs that feature a ton of custom rules will apparently now work in multiplayer. If you ever saw my video where we tried to do custom drifting in FH5 online, we fully broke the game. And apparently that's now going to be fixed. So we're going to try it again when this update comes out and see if it works. If it does work, awesome. If it doesn't work, uh... Anyways, last but not least, let's talk about what the developers have coming next update. They gave us two things. Number one, the photo mode is getting some improvements. They didn't tell us what just yet, but if I had to guess, I would imagine it would be something similar to like the Crew 2 or F1 where you can choose the time of day in the photo mode. I don't know if that's true, but that would be awesome. And number two, the developers also confirmed new customization coming in the next update, specifically overlanding parts. Basically, so you could have like tents and stuff on the back of certain vehicles. Super, super cool. Cannot wait to see what cars and what upgrades we get. And that's everything in the FH5 Update 20. I hope you enjoyed. Cannot wait to unlock those cars next week. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.